everybody and welcome back to my channel turnips to tangerines and today we have a really easy recipe and we're going to make some um, dill pickle mini crackers and I thought these would be really good um, during the football game or the baseball games or for tailgate parties or you know the football season coming up here in Wisconsin I always like to try new cracker you know tasty crackers like that that you can sit down and you know munch on during the game grab a handful of them and just sit and watch the game while you're drinking a beer or two so that's what we're going to do today it's nice and easy i was going to make these last year but i had really a lot of problems finding these mini premium crackers i have also seen them in uh club cat crackers the mini crackers and I finally found them at the Piggly Wiggly in Pound so I decided hey I'm gonna give it a try while I find them and then I'm gonna I stocked up on them too so when the packer season does start they'll all have them so here we go we are going to take two 11 and a half ounce boxes uh, the premium minis and this these are of course just the regular old saltine crackers open that up here move that over there oh. okay. try one mm. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Oh. bowl here and in this bowl I have a half a, or a stick of butter melted and to that now where did I put my bone again to that we are going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder teaspoon of garlic powder On this recipe on Pinterest. So, garlic powder and a tablespoon of dried dillweed. Tablespoon, here we go. Chick it up a little bit. I have my fan on above me and it's blowing everything around. And a uh, tablespoon of ranch seasoning mix. I bought this big bottle or one envelope of ranch seasoning mix. Ranch salad dressing mix, whichever. Here we go. Ooh. Add a little extra there. One tablespoon of ooh, that was a jar. Pickle juice, dill pickle juice, and uh, make sure it's dill, not sweet pickles. I don't think that would taste good. Use the dill juice only. So let's ooh. Really good. And side. Move all of this over here. Awesome. 
all around. This little spoon is really good. parchment paper. I'm going to dump out our crackers. Probably could have used a little bigger one here. Maybe I should divide this up and use two pans. I might do that. Yeah. Let's see a little. A little too much. No, maybe not. Pop these in the oven at 250 degrees for 30 minutes, stirring every five or stirring every 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna throw it all in here. What the heck, right? There we go. Get all that out of there. Butter and stuff. Okay. I cook these a little longer since I do have so many on here. But we'll be back in a flash. Here they are. Ooh, look at that big chunk there. Smooth that over there. Mm, it tastes good. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. We'll be back. snack on maybe excellent in tomato soup so Helen you want to add a little flavor to your tomato soup like these they're really good I think you'd like them or if you don't want to put them in your tomato soup let's see them fine how good that way too 